All right, so today we're gonna to use variables to make a scorekeeper. Um, so we'll start a new project and we'll call this scorekeeper. Now, again, the main idea here is that we're going to use variables. Now, what's a variable? Think of a variable as like a container that keeps data that we're, that we're collecting um, in it and it kind of organizes it. <clears throat> so that's this little button down here. So we're gonna make a scorekeeper that's gonna tell whether uh, person A wins or person B wins. So what we'll do first is we'll click on variable. We're gonna to need to make um, three of them. We're gonna to need to make player A wins, player A wins. We're going to need to make player, oh, I'm writing in the wrong place all of a sudden. Player B wins. Um, and we're going to make players tie. So we have players, player A wins, player B wins, players tie. So these are three variables that we are going to use today. So uh, you'll see here, we're going to change players uh, A or change player, um, change players. So I'll choose this and I'll bring it out here. Now what we want to do is when somebody wins, like at rock, scissors, paper, or something, we'll press a button and it adds that player A1. So we'll come over here to input and we'll choose that button. And we'll bring this in here and we'll change this to player A wins. And when player A wins, we'll give him one point. So we'll change player wins up by one point. And then we'll do the same thing for player B but we'll do that for um, player B. We'll change that to the B button. We'll go bring another variable. And this time we'll do player B wins. And then finally we'll do when A plus B, and this one we'll do the player's tie. So when the player's tie, we'll press A plus B. Variables. Change player's time. Okay, so then what we'll do is we will make an, we will show an A on our screen. Oops, well, I guess I could do that too. Let's delete these so we don't have to see them. We need something to happen when each of these occur. So I'll show that. We'll show that and we'll clear the screen. Oh, this one got out of order. We should have a bigger screen. And when A wins, we'll draw an A. When B wins, we'll draw a B. Oh, this is a T, so we'll do tied. And for here, we'll do uh, a B. That looks like a B, right? This one too. There you go, B. So player A wins, player B wins, players tie. We'll do that and we'll clear the screen. Now on start, which I deleted, we want to, the score to be at zero. So when we start off, we want to be at zero. zero. So we'll uh, set the players for all of them. All three of them. Let's zoom out a little bit, maybe they'll buy us a little more room. Here we're going to switch player tie to player A, player tie to player B, and player tie to C. So when we press start or when we start our code, it's going to reset everything to zero. And now when um, somebody wins, uh, we'll add the score 
add the scores. But we want to keep track of how many times player A wins and how many times player B wins. So let's um, so at any given time, we'll do a shake. And when we shake it, it'll just give us the score. So first thing we want to tell it is we want it to show us how many wins we have. And then we will put, um, we'll duplicate this one. We want to show how many A's. And then we will have um, show number, because we want to show the number of player A wins, which we'll go to the variable. And we'll go over here to player A wins. Okay. And then we want to do the same thing for B. All right, and we'll do a quick pause and it will go the same for B. And then we'll do B. I'll just duplicate this. And then you can just duplicate this and duplicate this. But you do need to show player B wins. And then we'll do that one more time for ties. We'll duplicate ties. And then we'll duplicate this one. change it to ties, and it will duplicate this one. And we'll duplicate that time. Um, and actually, you know what we should do? If we're gonna do ties, let's say ties. Instead, of, well, we could just do, we'll get rid of this one. I don't like that one. And we'll do ties. So then we'll show ties. We will do the player tie and then we'll pause. And then after all of this, we'll clear our screen. So just to recap, let me zoom out a little bit because I know this is a lot. You have four blocks of code here. When you start, it sets all the player scores to zero. Every time you press A, it gives A a point, A over here. Every time you press B, B over here, it gives B a point. And every time you press A plus B, it gives T a point. Then when you shake it, it's going to tell you the number of wins that each person has. So let's do some examples here. I'll press A gets a point. B gets a point. A gets a point. B gets a point. A gets a point. So at this time, A is up three points. B has two points. So if I shake, or and there's no ties, we'll do a tie too, and one tie. So now when I shake it, it's going to give me the amount of wins. A has three, B has two, and ties is one. And it'll clear the screen. So now you've made a scorekeeper that you can use with uh, your family or friends uh, to keep track of games that you're playing.